What's the difference between a fact and effect? Do you know? These are two very confusing words in English, but they're very much a part of a native English speaker's vocabulary, and I imagine they'll be a part of your vocabulary as well once you're doing business in English. Now, I'll be honest with you. I mix up these two words all the time. Every time I'm writing, I have to think, which one do I need, effect or effect? So I'm going to make it very easy for you to understand the difference between these two confusing words. Of course, my name's Jennifer from jforestenglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. What's the difference between a fact and effect? That's what we're talking about today. Now, I'm recording this video because this morning I was writing an email to somebody and I wrote, do you think that this could have mm, it? And I had to stop and think, hmm, do I need a fact or do I need effect? But then I just remembered this one simple trick that I taught myself because I always confuse these. So I taught myself this simple trick and I easily knew which one to use. So let me teach this simple trick to you. And that simple trick is that one of these is a noun and one of these is a verb. And if you can simply remember that, then based on sentence structure, you will know which one to use because the sentence structure between forming a sentence with a noun and a verb is very different. So this will be really good practice for you as well to be able to identify nouns, identify verbs, and understand sentence structure to know which one you need in this specific case, a noun or a verb. So let me know in the comments right now. Put it in the comments, effect. Is this a noun or a verb? Put it in the comments below. Noun or verb. Did you get it? Are you sure? Do you know which one? Affect is a verb, okay? Verb, it's an action word. So brain association, affect, action. Affect, action. That can be an easy way for you to remember that. Okay, so now I'm going to make this very easy for you. Put it in the comments. Effect, is that a noun or a verb? What do you think? Put it in the comments. Well, of course, if effect is a verb, then effect is a noun. So really, right there, boom, you know the difference. Because like I said, if you know if one's a verb and one's a noun, then based on sentence structure, only one of them can be used. But let me give you some examples so you can really see the difference. And then at the end, I'm going to show you how you can actually use effect and effect in the same sentence. And this does happen more than you would think. So let's start with effect. Like I said, effect is a verb. So for sentence structure, something affects something. That's really the structure that you need to remember. So let's see before we go any further if you can think of an example sentence using effect. Put it in the comments. Pause the video if you need. Put that example sentence using effect in the comments below. Did you put one in the comments? Okay, here's mine. The dry weather affected the crops. Remember our sentence structure, we have something What's the something? Put it in the comments. What's the something? The dry weather, right? That's our something. Something affects something. The dry weather affected the crops. So the other something is, put it in the comments, is the crops. So we have something affects something. 
But what do you notice about effect in this sentence? Hmm, it's a verb, right? So what verb tense is this sentence in? What verb tense is this in? Put it in the comments below. The dry weather affected past simple. So we know this is a completed action in the past. And that's what you need to remember. With affect, because it's a verb, it's going to be conjugated in different structures based on the context of the sentence. Now, because effect is a verb, I can take this sentence and put it in the present simple, for example. I can put it in a different verb tense, which simply just changes the meaning. So pause the video if you need and think about what would this sentence be in the present simple. And when you have your answer, put it in the comments below. So take your time, pause the video if you need. The dry weather affected the crops. What would that be in the present simple? Do you have it? It would be the dry weather affects the crops. Did you get that S? Yeah, I made it really dramatic there. Obviously, you wouldn't say that in real situation. But just so you remember, effect is a verb. The dry weather as a subject would be what? It, right? It affects the crops. So we need to remember to conjugate our verb. And in the present simple, we add an S to he, she, it verbs, okay? The dry weather affects the crops. So it's important for you to remember that effect is what? A noun or a verb? Put it in the comments. It's a verb. And because of that, it needs to be conjugated according to the time reference and according to the subject as well. Now, let's move on to effect. Effect is what? A noun or a verb? Put it in the comments. Effect is a noun. And you can think of it as the result of something, okay? Because remember, nouns are people, places, or things. So in this case, it's like a thing. It's the result of something. It's a, a thing. It's a noun. Effect. And remember, because it's a noun, it could have an article or it could be singular or plural. Those would be our choices with a noun. So let's take a look at an example. I could say the effect of the dry weather was devastating. The effect, okay? I'm starting my sentence with the noun. The effect of, notice that sentence structure, the effect of something. The something is the dry weather. The effect of the dry weather was devastating. So here, because it's a noun, I need my article in front of it. The, the effect. Another example, I could ask, did this policy have any negative effects? So notice here, what's different about the noun? I made it plural, right? And I'm not using an article in that case. Did the policy have any negative effects? So were there any results of the policy and were any of those results negative? Now, just for fun, let's take a look at a sentence using both effect and effect. The side effects of this medication can negatively affect your liver. So pause the video if you need and think about this example. Hmm, so the side effect. There, we're using it as a noun. And that's a very common way we use this as a noun, talking about side effects or the effects of something like in our previous example. The side effects of this medication can negatively affect your liver. 
And of course here, something affects something. So it's really the side effects that affect your liver as the something. So this really isn't that uncommon of a situation to see affect and effect in the same sentence. So to summarize, remember, affect is what? A noun or a verb? Put it in the comments. A verb. An effect is, put it in the comments, a noun. So that should be a great trick to help you instantly know which one you need to use. Now let's end by going back to my original email that I was writing. So remember, I wrote, do you think this could have mm, it? So what do you think? In this example, do I need Affect or effect? Do I need a noun or a verb? Put it in the comments below. Pause the video if you need, think about it, and then put it in the comments. Do you think this could have affected it? Because I need a verb. Something affects something. And of course, this verb is conjugated according to the sentence. All right, so now you know the difference between effect and effect. This is an advanced topic and you're going to need to practice and review this. So why don't we start now? Put in the comments below an example sentence with effect and an example sentence with effect and bonus points, major bonus points, if you can think of an example sentence that uses both effect and effect. Put your example sentences in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now, before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, jforestenglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. Look at you understanding advanced grammar that even native English speakers struggle with. Native English speakers like your English teacher struggles with, so don't feel bad if you're struggling with this. You just need what? Practice and repetition. And you can get that right here with me. So before you go, make sure you subscribe and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye, happy studying.